This symbol of a red ribbon is often seen by us at many places. But what does this signify? It's a symbol used to create awareness about acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, abbreviated as AIDS, or simply human immunodeficiency virus, abbreviated as HIV. The concept of red ribbon was adopted to create awareness for the disease as well as to morally uplift the people suffering from it. Now before moving ahead with the disease, let's first learn what do we mean by a syndrome. It's a condition identified by a set of related symptoms. In simple words, AIDS or any syndrome is a collection of symptoms that develop together. Like in the case of AIDS, since the case leads to multiple infections due to the weakening of the immune system, the person suffering shows multiple symptoms all at the same time. So hypothetically, if the person contracts TB, typhoid and cholera, then symptoms of all three will be collectively seen in the patient. This is why AIDS is called a syndrome. In this video, let's learn about this syndrome, which is an infectious disease in detail. HIV is an infectious retrovirus. And what do we mean by a retrovirus? We know that there are different types of viruses classified mainly on the basis of their genetic material. Among the various types, those viruses which have RNA as their genetic material are called retroviruses. These viruses insert their genetic material into the host cell to cause an infection. And post-infection, the major task of this virus is to attack the immune system of the host and weaken it. This strategy is used by the HIV to conquer over the host's body completely. Now let's move ahead and learn a bit more about AIDS. This disease develops in the HIV-infected people if their immune system is severely compromised. The people suffering from AIDS are highly susceptible to any disease as their immune system loses the capacity to fight off even acute infections efficiently. Now, how does this virus enter a healthy host? The HIV has the tendency to stay active and spread only through body fluids. So it gets access to a healthy host's body only through some form of body fluid. These can include blood, semen, placental transmission and many other ways. We have often heard the saying prevention is better than cure. This is very much apt in the case of AIDS as there's no cure once the disease reaches a particular stage. The only thing that can be done is prevention. And how is that achieved? Since ages, the most frequent mode of transmission is through sexual contact. Thus, avoiding unprotected sexual intercourse is the best way to prevent transmission of HIV. The other frequent method of transmission includes blood transfusion. So getting blood transfused without prior examination should strictly be avoided. Also, the spread of HIV through blood becomes possible with the use of syringes or the equipments which are already used. Thus, reusing syringes for medications or even sharp instruments like razors for personal use should be avoided. And lastly, HIV easily passes from a mother to her child during pregnancy or delivery or through breastfeeding. Thus, proper medications and measures that will prevent the transmission of HIV to the child should be carried out. These are a few methods in which transmission of HIV infection can be prevented. And how is one detected with the infection if the unfortunate event does strike? The diagnostic technique used for testing the presence of HIV is called enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, abbreviated as ELISA. We know that the HIV is not really curable after a certain point. So what can be done in case a person gets infected? There are different drugs available today that can be consumed to control the viral growth. Due to technological advancement, now we do have few therapies known as the antiretroviral therapies which can be performed on the victims of HIV infection. All these medications and therapies make sure that the person's body does not support or help 
in extremely rapid propagation of HIV population within it. With this, we come to an end of our discussion on the topic of AIDS and HIV. Do subscribe to our channel for more interesting facts and concepts. Happy learning!